when was the last time you experienced complete, unadulterated anger? Did someone tell you to calm down? Chill out? Well, it turns out anger may increase your life expectancy or even make you a better person. Let's take Beethoven, for example. We all know him as a musical genius, but he was also a total hothead. The short-tempered composer was known to have thrown things at his servants and get into fistfights. But was his propensity for anger a key to his creativity? Being angry usually gets a bad rap, as anger is often associated with violence and poor health outcomes. But it turns out that anger can be more than just a fuel for aggression. Scientists are now looking at the positive outcomes of anger, like the creativity exhibited by Beethoven when he wasn't hitting somebody. In 2009, researchers at the University of Amsterdam found that making a group of students angry by having them recall irritating moments did in fact increase their creativity when tasked with solving a problem. And there's more good news for the ill-tempered. One study in Australia found a link between being in a bad mood and improved memory. And research at the University of New South Wales observed that angry subjects were less susceptible to believing in falsehoods than subjects who were happy. And it's important to remember that anger is a natural emotion. Even more research shows that bottling it up can have serious consequences. A German study showed that patients who express their anger live an average of two years longer than people who hold back their rage. And there's some good news for bickering spouses. Researchers studying couples at the University of Michigan found that 23% of couples who suppress their rage died during the study, compared to 6% for all other groups. But there is such a thing as excessive anger, and this is when things could go too far. According to the American Psychological Association, anger is linked to a whole host of health problems, like an increased risk of heart disease, ulcers, and stroke, not to mention a loss of friends and people wanting to spend time with you. So while an average amount of anger may make you more creative, perceptive, and healthier, an excessive amount could also harm you in the long run.